Hey everybody, here's my review of probably the 2020 Kia Forte. Um, this was the rental car that I had in Houston, but I did want to give a review on it because it was such a nice car compared even to the Optima. Obviously the Optima is the next grade up from the Forte, but if you're looking at the differences to me, this was a, such a nice car that if I was having to choose again between an Optima and a Forte, I would probably go with the Forte. I know it's cheaper in price, but it's the luxury, the, the, the product you're getting is about the same, um, quality in my opinion. Um, I think this is listed as an economy car or a compact car and the Optima is listed as like a sedan. But this has all of the qualities that I remember that I had in my Kia before it was stolen. And I had a Kia back in 2017. Um, it was just a really nice car. I, wanted, I also wanted to show you guys the key fob. And I'll show you that in just a minute after I go around the car and show you. I wanted to give you a good look at the entire car. And it was nice and spacious inside. Um, of course, I was the only one that rode in it, but it was nice and spacious. Um, you know, four people would easily fit in there. They would not be crammed. Plenty of trunk space. And the key fob was probably part of my favorite detail of the Optima, of the, of the Forte. Um, when you press the, the unlock button, it only unlocks the first door. It doesn't unlock every door. And that's always been a pet peeve of mine. But there you go. See, that second door is not unlocked. When I go to unlock my front, my, uh, my doors to get into my car, I don't want everything unlocked. I just want my door unlocked because I don't want other people deciding that they're going to climb in my car. Um, but this was just a really nice car. Uh, I'm not sure exactly which, like, model it is but if you're trying to decide between a Kia and an Optima I would certainly at least take a look at the um, Fortes because it was a nice car it, it's you would probably get a lot of bang for your buck with this one it's less expensive and I think you're all getting you're getting all the same bells and whistles as okay, you would everybody. with I the um, regular the Optima Kia Forte it is um I did have an Optima, so I realize the difference, but it's really not that big of a difference, and I would have to say if I had to purchase again, I might just get the Forte because it's cheaper, but um, I don't know what year this is. I'll have to get back to you on that, put that in the comments, but this is a nice car. It's for, I'm renting it, obviously, but it's a nice car. I will add... Um, I'll show you the outside of it here soon. But, I mean, guys, this is nice. So, for my Kia Forte review, I'm going to give it five stars. Because it drives nice. It drives very much like the Ulti Ult Optima that I had before it was stolen. That's another long story. But anyway, just wanted to put that in there.